Hello, my name is Jose Pereira. I'm Venezuelan-born dual citizen. I grew up between Venezuela and, and the U.S. because I, I came here to the U.S. when I was like five years. We lived in Tulsa. Then I, I moved back to Venezuela when I was 12. I lived in an oil field camp during the American oil and gas companies that were handling the production of oil in Venezuela. So I grew up in the Gulf oil camp. That's typically an American camp. I did my career in the oil and gas. I, I studied in Venezuela, but I did my MBA here in the U.S., in the Florida University. And I, I began my career when I was a young kid in, in the oil and gas when I was 21. And finally, I did a 35 years career in the oil and gas. So basically, my career, all my life was in the oil and gas. I was married. I had 38 years married. I had three grown-up kids, two of them are married, and I had three grandsons. And my story, it came because after my wonderful career in oil and gas, suddenly in 2017, I went through an unfortunate event that I was called ready to get retired after 35 years to a last-minute call during Thanksgiving. I flew back to Venezuela to that business trip, and it became to be a settlement due to the problems that the, uh, the, the U.S. government, by that time there was Trump administration, I was having with the Maduro regime in Venezuela. And those guys got me as hostage to begin to negotiate the, the relief of sanctions that the country was having, because we were six guys, then we were dual citizens, all of them, and we became the political pawns of the relation between Venezuela and, and the U.S. And those negotiations put us in the high geopolitical thing between the two countries. And my, my hostage situation lasted five years. And, and we became like a brand to the press because the press baptized us with a name. We became to be that Sitgo Six. I'm a former member of that Sitgo Six. The Sitgo Six, we were caught in the middle of this battle between the two countries, they finalized it when Biden, that is currently in office, did a soft, quiet negotiation, diplomatic negotiation, and we came back in October 1st, 2022, after a negotiation of a prisoner swap with the two nephews of the Venezuelan uh, president. So I came back because of that. When I came back, I was the thinking if I wanted to go to back to the oil and gas, but, but for me it was very traumatic all this situation. So I decided to pivot my career. And today I became a leadership and, and, and resilience coach because I decided to use my experience of my leadership field the 35 years handling several multicultural uh, joint ventures with multinational companies. And that leadership skills I combined with the resilience skills that I developed being a survivor of my five-year hostage situation and I became a leadership and, and resilience uh, coach and today I do public speaking related to that. How how you can embrace the resilience in, in, in a speech called From Captivity to Freedom. I, I wrote my book that today I'm going to begin to promote because it's going to be out very soon in the market about my story and my legacy and how you can overcome things in life through any adversity because I'm a life testament that things can happen because I'm here today talking with you. So if you're interest, interested in my story and you want to have in, in, in your show, I can be an, an excellent asset to motivate your uh, audience how even in any situation in life you can overcome it. Thank you very much for having me here.